Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make text pops in screen while talking like this in Filmora 10. Okay, so here I am inside Filmora 10. And the first thing uh, I want to do is to add markers on the timeline, okay? To do that, I need to listen to the, to the video uh, like this. Hello everyone. So the first, the first sense, the sentence is hello everyone. So I think it's uh, three or four words. It's okay to, uh, to add text on the screen. We add a marker here. So click anywhere on the timeline to add a marker to this position. Uh, we can press M on our keyboard to add marker. And we can also hit this button to add markers in Filmora 10. Okay, to uh, click on that. So this is a, a hello everyone. Okay. Welcome to my channel. So the second sentence is uh, welcome to my channel. So this is uh, the end of the sentence. We can press M again. So I, I just do it again and again to uh, break the paragraph into pieces uh, with a marker on the timeline. Okay. So now we have all the marker here on the timeline and the second uh, second step I recommend it to do is to create your custom uh, template. Uh, it is also very easy. Firstly go to title and select title again. So here we have a default title. So we are going to use the, this default title. Okay, so let's drag and drop it on the timeline. Okay, before adjusting the text inside this title, I want to make it uh, in my style to customize it in my style to do that uh, i'm going to right click on it and select advanced edit so here is the advanced uh, text editor of filmora 10 so the first thing uh, we want to uh, change the fonts okay uh, so let's go with later black okay because i think it's big and it's uh, it's cool next thing i want to change the border and also adjust the shadow of the text Okay, so uh, let's go to the customize area here and then uh, we scroll down and here we have the text border let's uh, check this box okay uh, and then we change the color I want black okay so I think black is better and also the size the size the default size is 8 but I think 8 is too big for my border I can go with 2 again this is just uh, my personal opinion you can just customize the text uh, like the way you want Okay, and that is for the border. Yeah, and also I need to add a shadow to my text. You can add it or, or not, it depends, depends on you. And the next thing is shadow. And also I want to uh, change the shadow to two at the distant area. So the next thing I want to do is to uh, save, as, save as custom. So I can use it for this project and also next project if I want. Save it custom. I will name it uh, Jackie Title number one okay then I click OK to go back to the timeline okay so when uh, the next step we we need to do is to adjust the title box on the timeline to fit with the sentence uh, because we have a marker so it is very easy uh, so the first one uh, we have here hello everyone right uh, and we can put it right here but the first uh, the first thing we need to uh, change the text here just double click on the title box and then uh, change it to hello everyone okay and uh, also we uh, can uh, we can uh, adjust the adjust the text uh, position by uh, just uh, select it on the preview window and then uh, just move it up a little bit so it's cover the, uh, the on top of the video and also being mentioned that you can also change the forms and uh, the size of the fonts and also alignment everything right here also uh, you can also scale up and scale down uh, scale down here and also rotate the text at a chance from that also and we can also always reset to zero right so this is the first one hello everyone now we need uh, to hear more welcome to my channel so at this position is welcome to my channel now I'm going to split the title box at this position split it here and then move the uh, the parts on the right up one track like this and then extend the the, uh, the track below to the end of the video okay so it will appear at, until the end of the video just um, okay it's just a tip and now we uh, go to the second uh, second uh, second track uh, on top of the first track uh, and it is uh, going to be uh, 
in this video, right? Welcome to my ah, sorry, it is welcome to my channel. So this one is welcome to my channel, and we can select it on the preview window and move down a little bit. Uh, okay, and uh, now double click on the text, uh, press Ctrl A to select all of them and hide the word we want. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so that is the second line, and we are going to welcome here. to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show. Okay, so at this position is in this video. So we are using the same trick uh, to split the title box at this position and then move it up uh, one track and then extend it, uh, the first one to the end of the video. Okay, and now we can click uh, double click on the, uh, the third one and this one and, and we can move it uh, down and change the text in this video. Okay. And now we do the same here. This video, I'm going to... Uh, from here, uh, meaning I'm going to show you, right? And we do the same split. And move up one track. And then extend this one. And then chain this one. I'm going to show you. like it um, going to show you okay and then we can also extend it to the end of the video if we want so let's listen to to this uh, the, the video again the sample project again hello everyone welcome to my channel in this video I'm going to so it is a little bit slow we can adjust a little bit Okay. In this video, I'm going to show you how. And I think it's fine. So it is basically how you can make text pops in the screen while talking in Filmora 10. So it is very easy. But but of course, you can also customize the text inside that box and also add animation if you want. Uh, like this, uh, for the first one, uh, we can highlight this one, and for example, we can change the color of every one. Uh, and we can double click on this and then we uh, select the select the word every once and then we go to the, this area to the customize area and we can change the color yeah let's select maybe yellow this one and click OK to go back and we can also increase that's the, the size of this uh, this text if we want like this at this area we can increase it to 100 so like this and we have this one click OK so hello, hello everyone uh, for this sentence uh, welcome to my channel maybe we can um, make it italic we can select all of them all the text and then uh, select italic here and we can even change to another font if we want uh, Bivas nails for, for example uh, like this hello everyone welcome to my channel in this video I'm in this video also the same we can change the alignment to here at the center i'm going to show you i can also change to be vast okay everyone welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how uh, so the final sentence how to make text pops in screen while talking okay and uh, i want to uh, to make it appear here so how to make text pops in at this area yeah, like this, I want to make it here. So we do the same trick. Uh, just split it and then move it up one track and then extend the, the, the lower one. Uh, okay, but uh, but now we don't have any uh, any space on the screen. So we need to delete all, all of this. Uh, it is very easy. We just highlight all the track that we want to uh, delete and split. And now we press delete to delete all of them. Okay, now we only have one track. And then this is the worst. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make text pop in screen while talking, right? We can change the text now. How to make text pop in screen while talking. Okay, and I think the font is too big. We can change it to 60. And increase the scale with uh, if we want, okay. Uh, adjust alignment center, 
and let's listen to it. Show you how to make text pops in screen while talking. So I think the word pops in is important. So we are going to highlight it. Uh, let's double click on, on this text box and then uh, highlight the pops in uh, and change the color. Okay, change the color to color, color to yellow again. Yellow. Okay. And I want to change the size to 100 to make it bigger. And italic. Okay. So here we have this one. It's pops in screen while talking like this. And pops in talking screen. like this. And this one is like this. Okay, and we do the same trick. Split and then move up one track. If we, we don't want uh, this sentence to appear on the screen anymore, then we can just uh, split it and move the, the title uh, title box uh, up one track. And then double click it to adjust, highlight like this. And this one is in Fimora 10, okay? And we do the same, just split in Fimora 10. All right, so here is the, uh, here's the final result. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make text pops in screen while talking like this in Fimora 10. Yeah, that's easy, right? And of course, you, you can also add animation to the you know, to the text title in Fimura 10. But I advise you to not to do that because if you want to to do that, you need to control the animation of the text carefully. So uh, just it takes just more time, uh, more time to to customize the animation because uh, uh, this one is is a short title and this one is a long title. The animation can be can appear fast or slow. So you need to to go to advanced to, to advanced and then adjust the animation of the text carefully um, otherwise it will not appear uh, at the right time uh, like this if you select uh, the animation tab here and then uh, you can choose uh, typewriter for example so here you see this one this slider it used to is used to uh, control the animation effect of your text so if you move it to here it will appear fast if you move it right here it appears very slow and it it is also depends and the duration of the uh, the title box also uh, uh, make the, the animation slower so be careful when you want to add animation uh, to the title box when you uh, want the text to pop in screen while talking in Fimura 10 all right i hope this tutorial is helpful for you uh, if you have any question, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!